Okay, Jake. Right. Yes. Welcome to the EV Expo. Thank you. Been the Solar Centre. Yes. How did you feel that you were aligning with the EV crowd? Yeah, for sure. I think EV, uh, obviously people with EVs is a, a great fit for us. Uh, to us, we see it as the first port of call. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you charge your EV? Uh, basically, we're designing solutions that supply energy not only for the home, but yeah. taking into account battery storage yeah. uh, and future electric vehicle charging. Yeah. When we have conversations at the moment with our clients, uh, electric vehicles is something we bring up and just advise them that over the next, let's call it 10 years, mm -hmm. they will see electric vehicles come into their street and into yeah. their driveways, yep. um, which sometimes is a surprise, but uh, yeah, that's that's how we see it at the time. Mm. So I have read in the past that newer houses will have to actually have certain things, including solar, possible yeah. battery, charging yep. point. Yep. Is that something that you're seeing across the, uh, the I guess? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, out in Western Sydney, uh, we, we do have a basics requirement, which is when you build a new home, uh, your certain levels of requirements yep. uh, in, as far as environment is concerned uh, and energy efficiencies as well so what we're seeing at the moment is everybody who's putting in a pool of, from new uh, solar is becoming a basics requirement from them it's not as, as large as we think it should be but generally it's enough to get the conversation started to get them in a position where they do realize the benefits of solar so I know in California at the moment all new homes are compulsory, com compulsory solar yeah, yeah. Um, and I believe we'll be heading that way as well yeah, battery storage at the moment is not at all registered on basics yeah. Uh, as a as an item of you may need, yeah. uh, but it will be in the future. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So if somebody has a solar system uh, that's older, is there a way to upgrade what they've currently got to help them out if they want to just move ahead? Yeah, correct, correct. Mm. So we generally uh, will do upgrades. We will try and leave the existing system there if we can. Yeah. If the existing system is taking up valuable real estate, what we'll actually do is uh, remove the existing system. Uh, hopefully, we can reuse it or whatever that looks like for the client. Um, and what what we. <laughs> What we'll do is uh, we'll extend the system, uh, upgrade the system, add to the system, and then we have the battery storage talk yeah, as well. Yeah, great. Um, but all our new systems are adaptable, so you, you can put more PV on in the future. Yeah. Okay, so basically that's got to do, obviously, with the inverter that you install, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're using only two different inverters. We're okay. using Thronius, which is our top-of-the-line string inverter, and we're using Enphase micro mm -hmm. inverters. So Enphase is completely adaptable. You could add on as many panels as you, or as little yeah. panels as you'd like. Yeah. Uh, Enphase is a little less flexible but still has great expansion uh, availability where you can put on multiple inverters and they can talk to each other mm. uh, and all monitor through the one platform. Okay, okay yeah. excellent. Um, so as far as uh, the perception of people coming to see you at the EV Expo, yeah. do you find that they're already aware of obviously that there's going to be an increased uh, requirement for power and therefore that's what they're looking at is Yes, to so help we've had them. a lot of conversations with people this weekend who do already have a small system. Mm. I think the, the people who are looking into EV or do have EV already, um, what they've, they've already got solar, you know, mm. they're already educated, they already understand what it does. Mm. A lot of them are, are realising how much energy it actually takes to charge an EV, yeah. which is fine. Uh, we, we can get that for free from the sun. And now they're getting back to the drawing board. Okay, well, we need X amount more kilowatts which yeah. we're helping guiding people through. Right. Um, we need maybe one or two Tesla power walls and, and really designing that system for them to not only charge their car but to future-proof yeah. their families in yeah. some cases as well. So Fantastic. people are really excited about being uh, carbon neutral mm -hmm. and, and also power bill neutral as yes. well. Yes, that's awesome. always an option because yeah. sometimes yeah. it's not about the actual fact that they're saving the planet. Yeah. Some people don't believe in that, so but it's, yeah. it's sometimes more about just saving that one dollar yeah, yeah. seventy or something per litre, Absolutely. and two that yeah definitely yeah, the power yeah. bill because that does increase if you yeah. don't have something to help yeah. you. So we actually just had a conversation with uh, one of our customers uh, from about 18 months ago. Uh, Keith, he called past and had a chat with us. He's got a 13 kilowatt PV system and a Tesla Powerwall 2, one of the early Tesla Powerwall 2s. He's actually just bought a Nissan Leaf yep. and he's had a $1,400 bills and now experiencing around $200 bills and charging his Nissan Leaf as well. Fantastic. So he's looking at bolting up a second Powerwall 2 yep. to get himself back to uh, power bill neutral yep. and carbon neutral as well. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, so experiences and stories like those are kind of really good and really important you know those case studies to show hey this works really yeah, really well yeah. so that's really great yeah and so what area do you actually ser like um, yeah so so we're based in Penrith uh, we do cover the greater Western Sydney mm -hmm. so uh, all of Western Sydney we go right up to the top of okay. the mountains uh, all through the Hawkesbury yep. all down uh, to Camden sort mm -hmm. of way and we do come into the edges of, of Sydney yeah well. yep. fantastic yeah. 
All right, well, I'm hoping that it was successful for you. Absolutely, Being yeah. at the EV Expo, and yeah. I really appreciate that you came. Great, thank, thank you so you much. much. Really appreciate thank the invite, you. and uh, hopefully we can get back into it and do some yeah, more Yeah, great, thank Fantastic. you so much. Thank you.